Hello, and today Electric Pages is here in Austin, Texas for Embedded World, the first Embedded World that Austin has ever seen. And I can say that it's been absolutely fantastic. So today we're at the NXP booth and we're going to be looking at some pretty cool demos. And we are joined by a very kind person. Please tell the audience who you are, what you do. Hi, I'm Sujata Naidig with NXP Semiconductors. I'm a product marketing director for wireless connectivity in the IoT space. What we're going to be talking about is Matter mm -hmm. and the connected home. So if, if Matter matters. It matters. Trust it matters. Me. Fantastic. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm only going to do this because you said you don't want to get sick, and yes. I'm got a bit of a runny nose going on. So I'm just going to do this and keep a distance. Yeah. Anyway, so tell us what exactly is it that you're demonstrating today? So we're demonstrating a full matter solution to help companies and their developers create their matter portfolio in a more um, reduced time to market way to simplify the experience. Mm. So as you know, matter is a standard uh, for the smart home so that all devices can speak to each other on the same using the same language. So in a smart home that you'd have a matter network, you'd have some kind of an end device that's a yep. light bulb or a switch or a sensor. These are typically small devices, low power. So they're based on using thread as the technology to connect to another device. It's a thread is a low power yep. IP based secure mesh networking technology. So this here is our newest and um, device that we've launched, the MCX W71. MCX is NXP's MCU portfolio brand. The W is for wireless and the W71 is our newest device. This is a Freedom Board developer kit. So a $30 board to get started on doing matter development for these end devices. $30? $30. $30. Oh blimey. Yeah, That's and not all bad of our all. MCX portfolio. Mm. All the devices have the same Freedom Board approach, so yep. it's really you're building with a community of developers. So my first question, just to make sure I've got this right, which which chip on here is this new? Is, is it this one over here, or is that just like the, the program? Because I know that sometimes these development kits they tend to have quite a lot of large chips, and you they find it's actually chips. the tiniest one. That's the actual development um, yes. system. So is it this one? This here? one right there. Fantastic. Yes. So we've got all the supporting hardware there, and the rest of this is kind of acting as a debug header for it to, to program it. Yes. You know, and it sort of expand it out, but. One thing I want to I want to sort of mention is that matter is one of those things that's clearly going to become very important. But I do find it's very it's hard to sort of get it going because, like you say, it's you know it, it's, it's it's not it's not the most accessible thing to. It, there's no like files you can just download instantly and start using on any micro, microcontroller platform. It, it it seems quite hard to get into. So it's really nice to see platforms like these that help engineers sort of jump straight into it. But, um, and yeah, and this is just one piece. So a yes. matter network means you have multiple devices, mm -hmm. right? So this is the end device. Over here we have what we're using with our RW612, which is our tri-radio wireless MCU. Right. Tri-radio meaning it supports Wi-Fi, 15.4 for Thread or Zigbee, mm -hmm. and Bluetooth. And it's a single chip monolithic design to support all of those radios with an MCU core. Mm -hmm. So this is acting as a matter end device that can route yeah traffic and also as a thread border router. All right. So it's a single chip solution. A thread border router interfaces your thread network to the cloud using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So that's one component. And then we're using the tablet here to run a matter controller. Hmm. So this is the application. From this controller, we can control this border router or the light bulb. Yeah. So I'll demonstrate. We'll start with the RW612. So I'm going to turn it on. And now there you, you see go. the light right there. turns on. And you can slide it off, and then it will and turn it off. And we can slide it off. But I'm not going to touch the screen. There you go. <laughs> and then similarly, yeah. here's the W71. So this only has thread, right? This yeah. tablet does not have thread. So yeah. when I'm controlling this, oh, it's, it's going to jump to there through and the border. Th oh, yes. right. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the light here. And there's the light that turns so, on. So just to make sure I understand this correctly, matter it kind of like it sits it sits on network connect, uh, connectivity technologies like thread and bluetooth and wi-fi. But uh, in the way that it kind of like, um, it's, it's similar to things to TC, TCP, like that kind of thing, it's, it's yes. sitting in that realm, isn't yes. it? So Bluetooth is actually only used for commissioning devices, right. but Wi-Fi... Like, oh, I'm registering them, like, oh, yes. oh scan me to, to, to initialize yes. the configuration. So yeah. Wi-Fi is really ideal for high data That's bandwidth right, yeah. um, applications, and Thread is perfect for low power devices. Yeah. So even 
So this is the thread border router. It's using Wi-Fi to the tablet mm. to be controlled, and then it uses thread to get to this w, MCXW71 Freedom Board. And so we can actually turn off that light from the board <laughs> here also. And this is also a Freedom Board, so you can see it's a similar form factor. Yeah. This is also $30. So developers who are looking to create their portfolio for their company of uh, Matter products can get a complete system from the border router to the Matter controller to the end device. And we have our SDKs for these devices with documentation to make it really easy to get up and running and prototyping your designs. So, so when it comes to matter, so there, there, there's no centralized sort of server that's sort of like monitoring everything around the network. So how do they find each other? Is this kind of one of those things where they kind of like just like, they broadcast their, their, their existence to the local network and then other yeah. devices sort of see that? Yeah. So, so Matter is a local network. So all the devices, yeah. when they onboard into the Matter network, they're, that's done in a secure fashion, right? So the device has to say it needs right. to be onboarded, then um, a commissioner has to authenticate it. Right. Once it's on the network, it's part of, the technical term is like the Matter fabric. Right. So then other devices in the network can see all devices. So does that make it, does it make, does it, is the matter fabric decentralized then? So it, it, it can be, like you can create multiple fabrics, but you can also join fabrics. Typically, a fabric will be created around the border router. So whatever border router you're using, whether it's oh, in an okay. Amazon Echo or... So somewhere around here, in this setup, there's going to be one of these sort of like, the, the, the router essentially itself, the, the main controller. So where about is that, is that, is that, is that, where about is that in this setup then? So, so there's not a centralized control, right? So oh. there, you can have multiple controllers, but in this demo, this is the matter controller. So we're running a software app on here. It's based and off of Chip Tool, which is an oh, open I see. So, so this has created the fabric, and then these are now connected to that fabric. But in this case, he's connected to the fabric through that other device. Yes. So the border router oh, really? can create the fabric too. You can have multiple border routers, but also with Thread, Thread just released recently Thread 1.4 which allows for credential sharing. So let's say you uh, onboard this with an Amazon Echo, and then you onboard another device with um, that you want it to, or you bring home an Apple HomeKit yeah. or HomePod Mini. You want it to be on the same network, so then you can share the credentials. Mm -hmm. So it can be all on one, one fabric, regardless of which ecosystem, whether it's Apple, Amazon, Google, Samsung, smart things. And, and that's where the advantage of Matter comes from, is the fact that it, it, all these major manufacturers are, are supporting this platform, yes. which means that if you can, so it essentially means that anything you build with these systems are going to work with all that hardware that's yes. already in existence. So you yes. can, oh, that's, that, that, I, And for, this, you know, it's yeah. obvious to consumer, for consumers, this brings flexibility and choice. Oh, 100%, and but, compatibility. And compatibility and yeah. ease of use and, what we see though for customers of ours that are developing products, this really gives them a much larger TAM to address yeah. because you don't have to build different SKUs for different platforms. And if you can be on this one single platform where you get data from all kinds of devices, companies can build more differentiation into what they do. Yeah. And what we also see at NXP is that Matter lays the foundation to drive the transformation from a smart home to an intelligent and autonomous home. Yeah. So at NXP, we're in Austin, we have our smart home innovation lab here in Austin, also where we are testing out how to integrate different technologies and address mm. innovative use cases in a real world environment. And I do believe we're going to get a sneak peek of that facility at about 3.30, 3, 3 yes. o'clock, I think it is. Yes, yeah. so that's going to be very, very interesting to see how that all happens. So um, I think my last question I have for you for these uh, development platforms, for the engineers who are watching this video, yep. if they want to get uh, involved with Matter and NXP solutions, what would you recommend that they do? They can go to nxp.com slash matter and they will find all of our solutions. What's unique about NXP is we provide solutions at the system level for the processing and the connectivity and the security from sensors to gateways and border routers. So we have multiple platforms to help our customers create their products. That's absolutely fantastic. And I think I, I think it'd be fair to say that NXP have clearly demonstrated that matter certainly does matter. Fantastic. Thank you ever so much for having us today. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too.